All right, family and friends, it's Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden. And we made a couple of purchases this weekend. We're always trying to find ways to save money by making small investments in our homestead. And we bought a few rain barrels. We got a IBC tote back there, food grade. And I hope our friend Josh at the city said doesn't laugh at us. We got a couple of pickle barrels. One and you can see the other one right here. And we're going to, uh, the IBC tote is already set up so that we can get water out of it. We will flush these a couple of times before we use them, especially the pickle barrels. Yeah, I couldn't find one that had coffee grounds in it to get that coffee flavor, so we're gonna try to get rid of the pickle smell. But we'll set these up with a uh, catchment system like we have on the house for our other rain barrels. And these will go over in Micro Orchard 2 once we get them set up. And uh, I'll have to figure out a way to do a gutter system with a little bit of a paneling so we can guide water into them, but hopefully uh, this small investment will save us money in the long run. Plus, we don't have a uh, watering system over there. So, hopefully these will help us out. We got one rain barrel that's already set up that we had a little... We had a little horseplay accident with that one, but... Me and SK1 talked about it, and we're going to try to patch it up somehow or another so that uh, it still holds water. But if it doesn't, we'll cut it in half and we'll turn it into a flower pot. So, real quick update. And speaking of Micro Orchard 2, we got some more garden beds that we're going to take over there. We got these on sale from Catullas also. I forget how much they were, but... Not very much. And these are smaller, but they come with a, a cage. So when we put those over there, those will be great for growing uh, peppers or uh, tomatoes. Yeah, we'll see. We got four of those and they're really easy to put together. I'll see if I can find the link for those, but we've had these for probably <laughs> two or three months, so I don't know if they're still on sale, but I'll put the link down below anyway. And they're really easy to do. You can see SK1 is even doing them by himself, so yeah, really easy. And finally, one more quick update. <clears throat> I redid the grow station down in the basement a little bit, so I'm going to Turn you guys around so you can see what we did different. And it's not big changes, but changes. And hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully this is going to fix or improve on the performance of our light. So let me turn you guys around so you can see what I see. So one change was we swapped out one of our shelving units from the Pantry, oops, I can focus much better. So we swapped out one of our five foot shelves in the pantry for this six foot shelf. So it matches up with this shelf evenly and it actually holds more. <clears throat> and we took the light that was down here and now it's hanging in the middle. We put a crossbar and I may still adjust this at some point in time because it still hangs a little low, but I'm okay with it right there now because every shelf from here down is getting light from one of the two Grow Star lamps. So not a big change, but a change. And I think hopefully you guys can see as well as I'm seeing now, all of them are getting light. And we did get some uh, survival blanket fabric to reflect the light back. <clears throat> and 
and I'm debating if I'll put one over on this shelf because we do still like the natural lighting that comes from these blinds during the day when they're open but I may put one there because we can always move it it's a really light fabric like a you know like aluminum foil almost so I may still put one over behind this shelf so that at night when we've got the blinds closed like they are now we can still get more reflected light from the grow stars so <clears throat> all the plants are doing well peas are doing well rosemary's doing well peppers doing well um, yep everything is doing well we just planted some more uh well sowed more seeds for indoor herbs um yeah i think that may be everything that we've got so just a real quick update from the grow room you've seen what we're doing with the water barrels which hopefully uh within the next few weeks month or so we have those set up and over in micro orchard too along with the the garden beds so just wanted to give you guys an update where i'm at on what's going on in the garden let's try this Yep, I think that may be better. So, update on what we've got going on in the garden. So, quick video. Uh, we'll try to do more garden updates as uh, time allows and work schedule allows so that you guys know what we're doing. And a couple of cooking videos coming up too, uh, which I won't name now. We'll let them be surprises because I don't know how soon we'll get them. So, as always, this is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Essiance Family Garden. God bless our great country, America. God bless you wherever you reside around the world. Your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family have health, success, and prosperity as we do. Take care. Sapper out.